Federal statesman Chief Emmanuel Iwanyawu has told the federal government that the battle against insurgency and insecurity challenges in the country today can never be won the way it is being currently handled. Chief Iwanyawu, who spoke to Saturday Sun in Oweri yesterday, pointed out that except the government change its tactics, it can never subdue the Boko Haram and bandits increasingly terrorizing the country. He said, I want to take this opportunity to advise this government again. The war they are fighting, the way they are fighting that war, they cannot win. They have changed service chiefs. They are not going to do any miracle because this Boko Haram has infiltrated into the communities. They connived them, or they convinced them, I beg your pardon, that they can provide their needs. Some of these natives are with them. What we completely require is to completely restructure the country. Restructure the country, restructure the economy, restructure the governance, and Nigeria should have a federal police, state police and local government police. If they have this arrangement in the Northeast, they, they would have engaged these people when they came in. Their plan is to conquer the whole Nigeria. What they did in Benue is a clear evidence of what they can do. I think we should come together and solve our problem instead of blaming one another, Chief Iwanyawu said. Chief Iwanyawu has also condemned the northern governors, blaming the southeast governors and their leaders as problems behind insecurity in Nigeria. According to him, northern governors meeting and warning southeast governors and their leaders is not acceptable. The issue is that these people have put the country into a mess. Boko Haram is the problem we have today. I don't know why they should blame Southeast leaders. Taxpayers' money has been expended to fight the Boko Haram. And Iswap claiming they own the land in West Africa. These people have not just created problems in all parts of the country, they are now armed, carrying AK-47s. They tell you it's for their self-defense. If that is the case, then every Nigerian should carry it. Igbos has no problem. We have been very patient because of the experience we have had, Chief Iwanyawu stated. The elder statesman has also condemned ransom being paid to the Boko Haram kidnappers. He said, if proper strategies were employed in combating the maintenance cost by the group, it will do a lot to save taxpayers' money used by the government as ransom. They have formed kidnapping group, which kidnap people and school children. And when they kidnap, governments use taxpayers' money to pay ransom. Look at what happened in Niger State. They have been released. Who will say that they did not pay ransom? The ransom they paid is taxpayers' money. I think the matter is serious and provocative, and I don't want them to offend the Igbos, because we are the people who are suffering. Well, it is sad and unfortunate that this is the situation of things again concerning this particular issue. If Iwanyahu has spoken the truth, nothing but the truth, the federal government cannot win this war the way they are going. The federal government is not doing enough. Paying ransom and calling terrorist bandits is not the way to address this issue. And it will in no way solve the problem. This situation is beyond the way it is being handled and cannot be taken with levity. This is really, really sad. 
and unfortunate. Well, the way things are going, Nigeria might just be in for more attacks, more kidnapping attacks, more banditry attacks, more terrorist attacks in the country. The federal government cannot in any way win this war with this approach that they are going. And with the way they are handling this issue, they will not in any way win this war because with the way they are going, they are only setting up themselves for total failure. The federal government is setting up itself for total failure. How can you be expending taxpayers' money anyhow, paying bandits? And you are justifying the carrying of arms by this group, saying that they are defending themselves. It is wrong. If that is the case, let all regions, let everybody carry the same AK-47 and let's see what would happen. The, the approaches of the federal government and the state, some state governments in the northern part of the country to this particular issue is wrong and should not be encouraged. It's time to be corrected. Things cannot go well the way they're handling it and the problem would not in any way be solved. This issue needs to be treated the way it ought to be treated, which is address the people as terrorists, flush them out. But the problem is how can the federal government or the state government or the northerners actually address the issue of banditry, kidnapping and terrorists in the north when it was they that actually brought them into the country because majority of these guys are not Nigerians. They were brought into the country and they were armed with guns because they didn't want Jonathan to win the election in 2015. And now that Jonathan was wise enough and smart enough to have considered defeat and allowed them to reign, these same political elites abandoned these people they brought into the country. And having abandoned them, they had no choice than to use the guns that were given to them to begin to cause chaos. And that is what is happening today. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but that is what Dr. Melafia has revealed, and which to a very large extent is true if we look at it. It is sad and unfortunate. But there are reasons to believe that that is the true narrative of what is going on in the country. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular issue as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share this news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.